Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably heard about the tech mogul Brian Johnson, who's been making headlines recently with his extreme quest to live longer, or perhaps even forever, all with the help of his dedicated team of doctors and support staff. Now, you can see the logic. The longer he can stay alive and in good health, the more opportunity he'll have to take advantage of future technologies, technologies that may extend his life even further. Then press repeat. It actually makes perfect sense, and Brian should be applauded for his efforts. However, let's not forget that this is exactly the same logic used by the many longevity pioneers the world over, myself included, who began this journey long before the idea had ever entered the young Mr. Johnson's head. So I guess the question is this, do we really need to spend $2 million a year to have the best chance of extending our lives? Or has Brian Johnson maybe got it wrong? What if we could achieve similar or perhaps even better results than Brian, but at a tiny fraction of the cost and with a lot less effort? Well, today, that's exactly what I'm saying is possible. If you're new to the channel, I'm an author, researcher and consultant, and my specialist subject is human life extension. I've actually written several books on the subject, including the Amazon bestseller, The Underground Life Extension Handbook, the new edition of which is out soon, by the way, at a conservative estimate. I'd say my body achieved human lab rat status about 30 years ago. And since then, I've subjected it to near continuous experimentation. But not only do I have access to three decades of my own data, but also to a decade's worth of data gathered from my global consultation clients. I suppose you could say I'm a data hoarder, but in a good way. You see, I don't care if you're a famous biohacker, a scientist, a longevity expert, a doctor, or just some random dude who decided to get fit at 60, because you all potentially have something valuable to teach me. And I'm happy to share my data with you too. And today, I'm sharing what I believe to be the most effective longevity program in existence. And I named it the Immortal Protocol. It's based on solid science and it's laid out in seven easy to follow steps, each step building on the benefits of the previous one. Now, although I originally developed the protocol for my own benefit, it worked so well that it wasn't long before I had several of my clients following it. And I got to tell you, if you commit to following the principles outlined here, then I'm pretty sure you'd be blown away by what takes place. You'll look better, feel better, think better and do better. So you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Today, I'm going to present you with an overview of the entire seven step protocol. It's a truly holistic system, the purpose of which is to address all known hallmarks of aging. So it naturally includes such things as supplements, hormones, off-label meds, and various peak health therapies. And of course, not forgetting optimized diet and exercise. But you won't need Brian Johnson's budget and you won't be spending all your leisure time obsessing about not getting older. Simply follow the steps in the order given and let the rejuvenation process begin. The rapid results will fuel your motivation and most who commit will never look back. If there's enough interest, then I'll prepare separate presentations covering each of the steps in detail. But for now, this overview should provide a clear enough understanding of how and why the protocol works so well. I should also mention that for most people, waiting to feel the benefits of each step before commencing to the next will provide the best results. This allows sufficient time for each step to be firmly integrated into your routine and also avoids overwhelming the person with too much new stuff all at once. The very first step in the protocol is to submit a blood sample for detailed analysis. Now we do this to establish your baseline health and to rule out the presence of any pre-existing conditions. Now at the very least, you'll need a standard blood panel doing here. However, to get the full picture, I prefer my own custom panel, which tests multiple important markers of aging and disease. Now, irrespective of where you have your blood work done, I recommend that your test results be analyzed by a doctor who understands the difference between analyzing for peak health and longevity, as opposed to simply checking for any out of range readings, because these are two very different approaches. Now, the first approach that seeks to identify those numbers that fall short of what's considered optimal for peak health and longevity, even though those numbers may actually fall within the clinically acceptable range. 
Think of it as a tune-up for an already healthy body, one that provides valuable information regarding what may need to be tweaked. Now the second approach, and the one used by most family doctors, well that simply checks for the existence or otherwise of any out of range readings that may require medical intervention. Now if you'd like me to make a detailed video on blood testing with regard to longevity, then let me know in the comments. Following the all clear from your blood work, it's now time to move on to step 2 for a full body fat cell detox. Now don't let that scare you because it's actually a very pleasant therapy and there's also a very interesting history behind it. You see it was first used to detox the lungs of firefighters and other rescue workers who inhaled toxic gases following the 9-11 attacks. Then it was later updated for use by the general adult population and that's the version we're using here today. And I gotta tell you folks, no other detox comes close to the results that you'll get from this one. And best of all, it's easy and it's enjoyable. So don't worry, I won't be asking you to starve yourself or to drink any disgusting tasting new age concoctions. That's a guarantee. However, you will need access to a sauna, either conventional or infrared. So unless you have one at home or access to a friend's, then you will need a health club membership to complete this step. Which I'm willing to bet most of you will already have. Now the primary purpose of this type of detox is to help facilitate the removal of harmful fat soluble chemicals stored within our fat cells. And following completion of this step, most people report improved skin quality, better sleep, improved recovery and reduced body fat. And the reason why these benefits occur is rather simple. Every day our bodies are exposed to micro doses of toxins, simply through living our lives. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, even the everyday care products that we apply to our hair and skin. All these points of entry contribute to what's known as our daily toxic load. And what our liver can't immediately process and excrete, well that ends up getting stored in our fat cells. The problem is though, that many of these fat soluble toxins are known carcinogens and endocrine disruptors, so minimizing exposure to them together with periodic systemic detoxing is the most effective way to address this issue. And here's how it goes. You'll begin by taking a high dose niacin capsule on an empty stomach. After around 15 minutes, you'll start to experience facial flushing brought on by the niacin. Just make sure you're not using no flush niacin as that won't work. Next you're going to engage in 12 to 15 minutes of light exercise. Jogging on a treadmill for example that's perfect, although anything that causes light sweating will be fine. And it's this, together with the extreme body flushing that you're now experiencing that's directly activating your lymphatic system while simultaneously promoting the release of toxins stored within your fat cells. So it's important that without delay you now quickly make your way to the sauna, where you'll sit and sweat out as many of those nasty toxins as possible. Now stay in for as long as you safely can, then take a 10 minute break to cool down, and you can repeat this up to 4 times each session. When you exit the sauna for the last time, activated charcoal capsules should now be consumed. This effectively traps any toxins still in circulation after you stop sweating. These are then excreted through the GI tract before they can be reabsorbed. Of course, a single detox session won't get rid of all your stored toxins. After all, they've taken decades to accumulate, so you'll need to complete multiple sessions in order to significantly reduce them. Now, I personally do the niacin detox a couple of times each month. However, I also take regular saunas every other day, which is an integral part of the Immortal Protocol. And that's because regular sauna therapy benefits both the expression of the FOXO3 longevity gene and production of highly beneficial heat shock proteins. You can learn all about the anti-aging benefits of the sauna by reading my sauna handbook available on Amazon. Now I guarantee you'll be blown away by the potential health benefits, including an astonishing reduction in all cause mortality. However, there is a particular process that, that must be followed in order to maximize those benefits, and my book reveals all here. Quality sleep, along with a healthy diet and regular exercise, are the foundations upon which every successful health and longevity program is built. Without it, your health will go into decline. 
Poor sleep messes with your hormones. It's that simple. And unwanted weight gain, lack of energy and neurological issues are often the result that follows. Sleep's role in maintaining optimal health and slowing aging really can't be overemphasized. And that's why step three entirely focuses on optimizing your sleep patterns. Now, nothing particularly fancy here, just common sense stuff that can add years to your life. We start by identifying and resolving any stress factors that might be negatively affecting your sleep. Next, we establish your individual sleep requirements. In other words, we need to determine exactly how many hours of quality slumber you need in order to feel the most refreshed the following morning. To do this, we simply choose a bedtime that will allow you to awaken naturally without using an alarm. Now, so long as you had an undisturbed night, this will be an indication of how many hours sleep your body really needs. And we do this several times in order to work out your average requirements. Now, as a guide, most people need around eight hours of sleep, some as little as seven, some as much as nine. I also can't overstress the importance of going to bed at the same time each night and waking at the same time each morning. I guarantee that this alone could add many healthy years to your life. Of course, there's several other things you can do, such as avoiding caffeine, dimming lights close to bedtime, using blackout blinds, meditation, and even natural sleep aids if required. In fact, I'll be uploading a video very soon that covers what I believe to be the most powerful legal sleep supplement available. And not only that, it has some powerful anti-cancer properties. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button now if you want to be notified of that one. So you've had the all clear from your blood test, your skin looks great following those detox saunas, and you're sleeping like a baby every single night. Now it's time to get that diet of yours under the spotlight and see if we can't give it a little upgrade. Now look, I don't care if you're a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, carnivore, keto or whatever. I'm not here to convince you that one particular diet is better than another. Because let's face it, it's all just one big experiment. However, there is one common requirement that every diet will need to satisfy if it's going to work as part of the immortal protocol. And that's protein intake. Because if you're not ingesting sufficient high quality protein with each and every meal, then you're severely limiting your longevity potential. Cut carbs or cut fat if that's your thing, but don't cut protein and don't cut nutrients. You're going to need these muscles in old age, so feed them, use them and keep them. In reality, there's so much to discuss here that I'm really just scraping the surface in this presentation. However, it's enough to say that the protocol focuses on optimizing the nutrient profile of any chosen diet, be it meat or plant-based. The bottom line is that you should seek the healthiest diet that you're able to maintain, and very importantly, that you enjoy, because if you don't enjoy your food, you'll be unlikely to stick with it. Ultimately, I encourage you to experiment and see how far you're able to take it. And if you'd like to know more about this stage of the protocol or simply want to know what I eat, then let me know in the comments. Now, I've got a pretty rigid diet that I believe ideally promotes longevity. I love it and for me, it's delicious. However, it's definitely not for everyone. Four steps down and you're already feeling fantastic. Your diet is on point, your energy levels are up and now it's time to kill it in the gym. Now, if you're new to working out, then I generally recommend a full body weightlifting program performed twice a week, plus a couple of easy cardio sessions on separate days. This gets the person on track without unnecessarily shocking the system. The protocol does have specific workouts for more advanced practitioners, but if you already know what you're doing in the gym, then by all means go for it. However, there must be an emphasis on perfect form, never excessive weights, stretching following each workout, and sufficient time to recover between those workouts. The focus should be on practical aesthetic muscle, together with sufficient endurance and flexibility to cope with our chosen lifestyle. Now, I do have my own specific thoughts and preferences regarding training optimally, especially where my two adults are concerned. Now, in the past, my training partners have included Mr. World and Mr. Universe title holders, and I've trained for various sports at elite level, so I've managed to accumulate a fair bit of knowledge over my lifetime. 
So if you'd like this section of the protocol covered in more detail in a separate presentation, including how I train for longevity at 63, then just let me know in the comments. Five steps down and look at you now. That gym work's really paying off, so I bet you can't wait to see what some cutting edge longevity supplements could do for you. Now, which supplements may work best for you depends on several factors, including your age, your sex, your health, and ultimately your budget. However, there are several supplements that most mature adults should probably consider essential. And these include basics such as omega-3, vitamin D, and creatine, as well as more advanced products such as Glynac, NMN, and alpha-ketoglutarate. But that's just scratching the surface. And with so many supplements to choose from, it can be extremely confusing. However, the fact is, when building an effective health and longevity stack, choices are more often than not constrained by budget limitations. Several of the latest longevity supplements are extremely expensive to produce and their high cost puts them out of reach for many. So the real skill then is in building the most effective stack within the confines of various budgets and needs. Conversely, when there's no budget constraints, that's when the supplement choices get way easier. But even then, you'd still be hard pushed to spend much over $500 a month. And even with a monthly budget of only $100, you can still put together a very decent longevity stack so long as you prioritize the right supplements. The Immortal Protocol focuses on supplements that specifically address the various hallmarks of aging. And that includes such things as mTOR inhibitors, senolytics, epigenetic modulators, autophagy inducers, and so on. The goal is to select the most appropriate products from within those categories that best fit your budget. Because make no mistake, a well thought out longevity stack can be an extremely powerful tool, and in my opinion, an absolutely essential one. Not only does it have the potential to slow aging and extend your life, it also serves to improve the quality of that life through the maintenance of good health. Now, if you'd like to know what supplements I take, then let me know in the comments. And if there's enough interest, then I'll schedule that video. For now though, I can tell you that I buy several of my supplements from the aging research company Do Not Age. I love the fact that their capsules don't contain any fillers, just pure lab tested product. So if you want to try them, here's a very handy 10% discount code for all the products. And by the way, that also includes subscriptions and special offers. The seventh and final step of the Immortal Protocol is the only step that I consider to be optional. Now, the reason for that is that some people simply won't want to take things beyond step six and are more than happy with the results, and that's perfectly okay. But for those of us with an interest in this particular avenue of anti-aging science, the potential benefits can be very enticing. The repurposing of pharmaceuticals in order to treat aging is nothing new. Medicines such as rapamycin, selegiline, methylene blue, naltrexone, and metformin spring to mind. But many more are in testing, and the data looks pretty encouraging for some of those medications. Using off-label meds will of course require a doctor or anti-aging clinic willing to advise, prescribe, and monitor your results. A step too far for some may be, but for others like myself, it's a very hard path to ignore. Another area that would be negligent of me not to mention is the potential of peptides and other experimental compounds. It's a subject in which I'm well versed, however it's a subject that's well beyond the depth of this presentation. In this, the very final step, we're going to put your hormones under the microscope. Now we're doing this last because each of the previous steps will have greatly benefited your natural hormone profile. And since we already have your blood test results from step one, this is a logical point at which to retest and optimize if necessary. If any suboptimal results and related symptoms are identified, and only if they can't be improved by further changes in diet, exercise, sleep, or supplements, then it might be time to consider bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, all in an effort to further improve your quality of life. Unfortunately, however, doctors will generally only prescribe hormones where a recognized clinical deficiency exists. And I'm afraid by that time, many people are already pretty sick. 
Thankfully, most anti-aging clinics and specialist hormone doctors will prescribe in those cases where the patient's natural levels are considered suboptimal, even though those levels may fall within the clinically acceptable range. Again, the difference between simply checking for out of range levels compared to trying to optimize levels for maximum health and longevity. Where anti-aging is concerned, optimizing our hormones really isn't any different to optimizing our sleep, our diet, or even exercise. It's just another tool, one that can definitely improve the quality of our lives and in theory at least, perhaps even the length. If you enjoyed this overview and would like to read about each step in much more detail, then my forthcoming book Immortal, due for release on Amazon early next year, would definitely be of interest to you. For anyone giving the protocol a try, it'd be fantastic to hear about your results, your experiences, anything you changed, and of course, your age. Many thanks for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed, and lastly, as always, take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.